It is day four and we are in St. Thomas. I realize there is a bit of a gap since the last time you saw us there, but we just had a big sea day and sat around, ate food, drank a bit. And that was our whole day. Wasn't very exciting to watch, but we don't have any big plans for the day. Uh, we came here three years, three or four years ago and we went to Megan's Bay, so we didn't really want to redo that. Um, we were think, kind of thinking about going downtown today, just seeing what all they had to offer there. May try some food if we can find it, shop a little bit. Probably won't stay out here long, but we'll see how it goes. We're out here in uh, St. Thomas. We're actually back in this little alley right over right now. We've been walking around the downtown area is what they call it. Um, shopping a little bit. A lot of it is more tourism, but there's um, we've finally got to a little place where it's a little more local. We just ate at a cafe called Gladys's Cafe. It was local Caribbean food. It was very good. We had conch fritters and some grouper and it was very fresh and very good so highly recommend that this downtown area has been nice um, you kind of have to walk back a little ways until it gets a little more unique um, it's pretty touristy at first a little rundown but once you get back in these alleyways the shops are a little bit better so it's been nice um, maybe a one-time thing but we have enjoyed it and the food is great we would come eat here again for sure exploring St. Martin on the Dutch side. Uh, we've been out here an hour, two hours so far. Big step up from St. Thomas in my opinion. It's very touristy where we're at. Uh, we were able to take a water taxi for seven dollars a person. That gives you full access to it for the whole day. Uh, that brings you over here. You can come out, sit on the beach, or there's tons of shopping. There's a ridiculous amount of shopping.
were just walking along and we saw a Star Wars shop that is ran by Nick Maley. And we'll give you some more information on him here in a bit because he's a pretty cool guy running a pretty cool store here in St. Martin. So who is that Yoda guy? He's international artist and movie effects makeup wizard Nick Maley who specialized in theatrical prosthetics and the development of movie animatronics. He made 53 movies including Superman, Highlander, Pool, and Star Wars. Here we go. first time that we've ever been to St. Martin so we just came out we did some general stuff uh, we didn't do a whole lot of research before we came now that we've done it I think the next time we'll probably go out and check out there's a fort here that looks really cool uh, we just didn't want to hop in a taxi this time around but we'll probably do that the next time we come out here other than that uh, it's very pretty it's very touristy but it's very pretty there's a lot of shopping to do we just ate at uh, some Dutch restaurant that was it was good it wasn't expensive everything out here is duty-free so you can come out and have a really good day shopping Sadly, it is our last day on the Wonder of the Seas. Um, we're just in the room here, packing a little bit. Day's not officially over. We've got a couple more shows to go to. We're going to go see The Effectors tonight, I think. And we've got one more comedy show, and then that will be the end of it for us. So I think that'll be the end of this vlog. Keep your eye out, though, because we have a walkthrough tour coming up of the Wonder of the Seas. And then here in a couple of months, we have a trip booked back at Universal with some of our friends. And it will be Mardi Gras, so we get to try lots of new food there. So be on the lookout, and until then, have a great time.